Hello and welcome inside the Kyle Quarter video blog. I'm Jay Elson. The USD women inside the Dakota Dome on Thursday night get an 85-77 win over the University of Northern Iowa to improve to 5-2 and two on the season. And for more on this game, we bring in the voice of USD women's basketball, John Thayer. John, uh, on paper, a dominating performance for USD in a lot of ways. You look at the glass, you look at points in the paint. A lot of things stood out statistically in this game, but the end numbers, the only ones that really matter, that final score, made it look kind of close. And a lot of credit for that uh, goes to you and I and the fight they showed throughout that full 40 minutes. Well, no doubt. Northern Iowa, they've been on the road to start the season uh, for all their games this season. And so it's been a tough road trip for them to start. And uh, this coaching staff for USD knew they were going to get a challenge from Northern Iowa. It's a team that was picked second in the Missouri Valley Conference. So a good team coming in. They knew that. And, and uh, it was that defense for Northern Iowa at the end really started to shift momentum uh, into their favor and South Dakota started to struggle maybe get too antsy uh, with trying to break that full court press that was applied by Northern Iowa they turned the ball over a few times couldn't quite get things under control and uh, finally were able to score some points and obviously they had just had an, enough of a lead to uh, hold off Northern Iowa really is what it was. Yeah, in this game, uh, Kyle's turned it over 16 times. That's a number I'm sure Amy Williams and her coaching staff are not going to like a lot uh, as they prepare you know, to move on to their next game on Saturday here at the Dome against Cal State Fullerton. Uh, but that's really the only thing that stood out, and, and you have to attribute that a lot of that anyway to that pressure that you mentioned, John. That full court kind of trapping pressure for this uh, UNI team gave the Kyle some fits, but they're, to their credit, uh, they found enough ways around it to get the baskets at the end to put this one away. Right, and credit a lot to Taya Miller, who tonight ended up with a career-high 20 points in this game, and she simply took over the game in the final minute of it. Uh, she was able to score some points, uh, get some buckets. Uh, she, she forced some fouls that she was able to get some free throws just like the last time out against Marquette. She drove in the lane, took over that game, tied it up, and, and ended up putting in the ceiling free throws as well. So Ty Hemeler, big night for her tonight, and she simply just took over at the end. And we talked about it uh, a little bit earlier. Kyle, let's go to 5-2 and two with this win. Uh, Northern Iowa falls to 1-5, and five, but I think it's a team that we showed with the kind of talent that was out here tonight. They're going to get it figured out, picked high in the Missouri Valley. Uh, they'll be pretty good by the end of the year. This, this win is going to look a lot better at the end of the year than it does right now. Well, it will and, and one of the reasons it'll get better for Northern Iowa is they've got a girl named Brittany Donaldson that's out right now with an injury. They're hoping to get her back for conference play. She had 34 points last year against uh, Drake in, in March, and so she's a very good player, uh, but they're missing her services right now. So you feel good about the win if you're USD, uh, especially to start this five-game homestand, and uh, you, you go to five and two, so it's a good win. Five-game homestand, as you mentioned, game two Saturday here at the Dome against Cal State Fullerton. Uh, and Amy said it in the in the post game press conference. This is a team that's it's much better than it was a year ago when the Coyotes went out there and played them. Uh, and so uh, they're expecting another another tough test here on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, they are. And Cal State Fullerton comes in. It's a team that USD beat last year, but didn't dominate. And in fact, the Coyotes, I believe, turned the ball over 25 times in that game, uh, but still ended up getting the win. Their coach is now in their second season, so they're more comfortable there. They've getting some things figured out. So they do. They expect a big test. Uh, Cal State Fullerton uh, er, just this week, earlier this week, beat uh, Denver. And so that's a conference uh, team. And, and uh, you get the win for, for Cal State Fullerton. They feel good coming into here. So South Dakota, they're, they're going to have to prepare over the next uh, day and a half. Yeah, that game in Denver, by the way, and by 17 points. Denver's not an easy place to play, as the Coyotes can attest. They had struggled out there last year. So that uh, just goes to show you where this team is at coming into this game on Saturday. Again, USD taking on Cal State Fullerton here Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock, the tip-off from the Dakota Dome. Uh, you can, of course, follow me on Twitter, at Elson Midco SN, for updates throughout that game.